Assalamu alaikum and very good morning grade 6 today we will study cranes and gears and you will enjoy this topic because cranes are very useful in our life and gears you know them very well so first of all we will study about cranes a crane is a machine that is not simple it's a compound ma machine because it is using three simple machines number one is pulley number two is lever and number three is a wheel in excel a crane is a machine that is used to lift and move heavy loads machines materials and goods for a variety of purposes they are used in all different sectors of industry from construction to manufacturing to shipbuilding and material loading the main purpose of a crane is to lift extremely heavy amount of object a typical crane is equipped with hoist rope wire ropes and chains and sheaves you can see the things that are used in a crane this the uh, this picture that is moving is showing you where as where is a lever used where is a bell and axle used where are the pulleys used so again i am teaching you the devices use the device uses one or more simple machines to create mechanical advantage and thus move loads beyond the normal capability of a human a man cannot lift two heavy objects like car engine or etc this can be done only by cranes okay now we will study gears gears are wheels with teeth that slot together when one gear is turned the other one turns as well if the gears are of different sizes they can be used to increase the power of a turning force the smaller wheel turns more quickly but with less force while the bigger one turns more slowly with more force the number of teeth are very important in both the wheels okay the number of wheels can also be increased it's up to our requirement we increase the number of wheels or their teeth it depends on the mechanical advantages unlike most electric bikes which recharge as you pull down hills or use the brakes these bikes when kept in eco charge mode will power up even when you are pa paddling on level ground which helps you on heavy uphill tracks another kind of electric bikes are the ones that come with gray gear technology and the drive system that can automatically optimize the power input of the motor relative to the rider whenever the sensor registers are additional torque required by the rider so these are the most advanced eco friendly bikes bicycles again i am telling you that gears or tuted or packed wheels mesh together to transmit motion and force are called gears in any pair of gear the larger one will rotate more slowly than the smaller one but will rotate with greater force each gear is a series reserves the direction of rotation of the previous gear a speed bicycle with gear train a gear train is a system of gears arranged to transfer rotational torque from one part of a mechanical system to another in simple words gears are helping us to move or ride you have used them or seen them in bicycles or cars now be ready with your booklets we have to solve worksheet Uh, take out your booklets be ready with your pencil so question number 1 is uh, fill in the blanks a machine is any tool that makes work easier in fact even something as simple as a hammer is a machine so too is your elbow or uh, or a pair of scissors 
Scientists agree that there are six kinds of simple machines. They are the lever, inclined plane, wheel and axle, screw, pulley and wedge. A lever is a straight rod or bar that refers that rests on a single point like a seesaw. The support that the lever rests on is called the fulcrum. In a seesaw, the fulcrum is in the middle. The person pushing off the ground provides the effort. He is applying energy to make the seesaw move. The person being lifted on the other end of the seesaw is lowered, but the fulcrum does not have to be in the middle. The fulcrum of a wheelbarrow is the wheel. The load is the bucket where the heavy items are carried. The effort is at the handles where a person can lift the wheels of barrow up. The wheelbarrow up, sorry. Okay, you have to write all the yellow highlighted words in the Phillips. The above box is the word bank box and I have put for you for your easiness all the words correctly suitably in their proper Phillips. So you have to learn them. You have to learn this paragraph. This paragraph is very helpful. Now we will move on to question number two. Choose the correct option. What is the unit used to measure forces? It's Newtons. Second MCQ is what is a simple machine? You know that this is C part, any tool that makes work easier. Third MCQ is how many kinds of simple machines do scientists recognize? You know the answer very well. These are six. So correct answer is B. Should we uh, recall, remind, you should we recap the names? Okay, let's start it. Lever, wheel in Excel, wedge, pulley, screw, these are the six machines. Now we will do fourth uh, MCQ. Which of the following is not a simple machine? The correct answer is A. Engine. Fifth MCQ is a lever supported on a single point called fulcrum D. Sixth is to undo one of the nuts on the wheel of a car. It would be best to use long handle spanner because we need uh, we need more force that's why we will use long handle spanner uh, seventh is the name moment is given to the turning effect of a force the units of a moment are newton meter last mcq is you need to move a heavy piano up to the second floor you need you don't need wedge rest of the things you need okay now be ready for Thanks question for number watching. three. You have Take to care. draw a I diagram. Of your question number three is suppose there is a big rock in your school playground that you need to move. A big uh, rock is there, a small use. rock is there, so the things they have shown there. there. So uh, I have arranged it for you in the diagram. You have to draw this diagram. Your part A will be done. And the second uh, question they are asking. What is the scientific name for the machine you have designed? It's a lever and it's first class lever. Thanks for watching this video. All of you be ready for your next video which will come on Friday and our all chapter will be finished in that. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.